In the following figure, block 2, mass capital M sub 2, is at rest on a frictionless surface and touching the end of an unstretched spring of spring constant K. The other end of the spring is fixed to a wall. Uh, block 1, mass cap capital M sub 1, traveling at speed V sub 1, collides with block 2 and the two blocks stick together. When the blocks momentarily stop, by what distance is the spring compressed? As you can see, I have set up my coordinate axis here, so I'm assuming that this motion is on the x-axis. So first thing to note here is that during the collusion between blocks 1 and 2, if you look at the net external force X component acting on the system, because this uh, spring is relaxed, there is no spring force, it's going to be equal to zero. Therefore, the change in the linear momentum X component should be zero. So we have conservation of linear momentum. Now, if we write the initial linear momentum X component, it will be block one mass, capital M sub one, V one in I hat direction, which must be equal to the final linear momentum X component, which is the total mass because they stick together and one plus M two V final, the common velocity after the collision. So we see that the final velocity, common velocity of m1 and m2, will be equal to m1 v1 i hat divided by capital M1 plus capital M2. And you see that there won't be kinetic energy conservation here because uh, this they are sticking together. There's going to be friction developing between the two and therefore this is going to be a perfectly inelastic collision. Okay. And in the initial uh, linear momentum, we don't have a contribution from M2 because it was at rest on a frictionless surface. Now, what happens after the collision? Well, after the collusion we have no friction in the system, the change in the mechanical energy will be zero. So delta K plus delta U should be equal to zero. No friction in the system, uh, no friction with the surface. So we have conservation of energy. Okay. Now the initial kinetic energy of this system will be equal to 1 over 2 m1 plus m2 v final, where v final is the uh, velocity obtained during the collusion. Uh, k final will be 0 because we want to know what happens when they momentarily stop. Initial potential energy stored in the spring is 0. Final potential energy will be equal to 1 over 2 k delta x uh, maximum squared. So that will be the maximum compression of the spring. Okay, so if we write this mechanical energy conservation equation, delta E mechanical is uh, the change in the potential, uh, let's see, the final kinetic energy is 0, initial kinetic energy is 1 over 2, total mass m1 plus m2 uh, v final squared which is m1 squared v1 squared divided by capital m1 plus capital m2 parentheses squared plus 1 over 2 k delta x max uh, squared which is our potential energy stored in the spring minus zero initial potential energy. 
So we see that k times delta x max uh, squared will be equal to, because these one halves will uh, disappear, and then we have also this m1 plus m2 getting rid of this square at the bottom. Uh, m1 square, v1 square, divided by m1 plus m2. Therefore, we see that the maximum compression when they momentarily uh, stop will be equal to uh, m1 v1 because I have to take the square root, divided by square root of uh, k times m1 plus m2. Okay, so this is our final answer. All right, so in this problem we have a perfectly inelastic collision of two blocks. They, they are on a frictionless surface uh, and when they collide, they stick together. So it becomes a perfect inelastic collusion. We have conservation of linear momentum on the x-axis because there is no external force acting on the system during the collusion. Uh, and after the collusion, we have conservation of mechanical energy because the kinetic energy acquired by M1 and M2 uh, during the collusion will be turned uh, converted into potential energy in the spring and when the full kinetic energy is uh, converted to potential energy in the spring they will momentarily stop so we have one half k delta x max square is equal to one half total mass final velocity after the collusion uh, squared so this gives us an equation for delta x max the maximum compression and here is our final result.